Hi folks, Spikey Bill here, and we're back with Zombie Society Dead Detective Part 2. Uh, possibly the last part, who knows? Anyway, we left the restaurant after questioning everybody in there, and now I'm going to question the mustachio guy, if I can. What do you know about the robbery? I know nothing that I know. I've heard that someone stole Mr. Mitsk's ID card, but for what reason? Who knows? I don't. Isn't there anything else that comes to mind? Sometimes I wonder what's the sense of our existence that I do. Where do we go? Why? And which brain will we eat for dinner? That was unnecessarily deep and completely useless. Nothing like a random side character who throws in a couple of random whimsical thoughts. <laughs> Do I know anything about that? I don't. Anyway, if he says anything else interesting. Uh, what do you know about Snyar, the cook? I can tell you he's a blessed good cook that I can. He had his own restaurant a few years ago. But then it all went south and he lost everything that he did. Mr. Mitz guided him when nobody else would. I bet Snyagi is very grateful for that. I bet he is. I'm not so sure, Mr. Mustache. I think Snyagi is behind this whole situation. New evidence. Ah, well, there we go. We's a going to Halik's foundation. Ooh, this guy looks a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he looks like a bit like a zombie version of Joe from Family Guy. Just a little bit. Except this guy, this one can walk. Hello, um, I'd like to speak to Miss Halik. Oh, can do, Bob. Miss Halik is very busy at the moment. She won't accept visitors today. Busy doing what? I am not allowed to say. Aren't you a bit too small to work as a guard? Aren't you a bit short for a stormtrooper? I'm the perfect height to punch you straight in the nuts, bub. Touché. Can't really argue with that, can ya? I really need to speak to Hillik. It's Miss Hillik to you, bub. And as I told you, she has no time for nobody like you. Uh, I'll be back. Believe me. That's the logo of Halik's Foundation. What's so special about this Halik chick, anyway? <clears throat> Miss Halik made a name for herself as a brain hunter during the zombie invasions. Oh, I was a hunter too. Those were good times. When Zombie Society was established, she formed this foundation to collect and study the remnants of the brain's civilization. And the conversation suddenly got boring once again. Okay, all right, I guess we can't do anything here yet. Isn't that interesting? We need to find somewhere to get past that guard. After wandering aimlessly, I just remembered that I have... Uh, this press pass. Maybe he'll let press in. Uh, perhaps I didn't mention that I'm a journalist from the car? I'd like to interview Miss Halik. Oh really? About what? Yes, I'm writing an article about... Holy shit, this is a lot of options. Let's just rattle through these, shall we? The shampoo she uses for her fabulous hair, Ow. Her favourite kind of food, brains obviously. The last car she bought. The story of her life after death. It's a biography. Her initiative concerning charity for the graveless zombies. Why she chose such a creepy logo. How about charity? Surely every single pers for like public spotlight kind of celebrity personality loves to talk about their charity work. Charity? You've got the wrong zombie. Well, oh, fuck. Alright then, how about shampoo? That's a secret you'll never know. Don't look at me. My hair is fabulous. Au naturel. 
I did mention your hair was quite beautiful before, so you don't need to wade into this argument. Thank you very much. Favorite kind of food? That's easy. She loves brains. Well, that's what I kind of said. Seriously? I mean, who doesn't? Will you stop putting in? I'm trying to do something here. The last car she bought? Miss Harik doesn't like cars. She's a walker. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, pun of the year contender. Uh, the story of her life after death. Uh, Miss Harik prefers to write her own biography. She already wrote four. And obviously lived enough as a zombie to live four lifetimes. Her, her, her not quite a zombie yet biography and then three since then. Mm. The logo represents the face of a brain who just realised he's going to get eaten. What's so creepy about it? If you put it like that, nothing at all. Well, bollocks. Well, I'll be back. Damn it. <laughs> Zombie society is a free society. Okay, free to eat brains. See if Vin's got any ideas. Oh, we can give you hints. I don't want hints. I've got, I've got brains coming out the wazoo. I'm fine. I can figure this out myself. <laughs> Maybe. Can I have a newspaper? Can I have one coin? Hmm. I remember having some money with me yesterday, but where did I put it? Wait a second, I'm still in tutorial mode. Aha, the coin's in his hat. Just as I thought. I had hidden chew, chew, chew new euros. <laughs> Two euros in the lining of the hat. I have, okay, I have coins. Coins to him. Here, one euro for you. And here's your paper. Awesome, I have a newspaper. Can I read it? Oh cool, I can read it. Damn it, I should have got this way before now. A long interview to the Minister of Subsistence. Everything is fine in zombie society. Totally no collapsing going on here. Isn't this creepy if I put the cursor? Looks like he's got just a giant eyeball for a face. Just, just, just look at that for a second. Just look at it. Just look how creepy it looks. Anyway. Brains, brains, brains. We just want to talk about brains. More at page nine. Lure's farm wins the prize for the more succulent living brain raised last year. And only a few days left before the grand opening of the Living Brain Museum, sponsored by the Halik Foundation. <gasps> Living Brain Museum, huh? Alright, is that going to help me get into... Um, uh, is that going to get me into Halik's then? Maybe I want to do an article on the Living Brain exhibit. Some free advertising, perhaps? This might help. Now that I have that topic. Shit. Okay, let's try this again. I do. Oh, for, oh, there it is. The opening of her new museum. Hmm. It is true, Miss Elite will open a new museum. Museum, museum. Miss. I'm having real difficulty vocalizing tonight. <laughs> and she could certainly use any kind of publicity, especially free publicity. Free publicity is the best. I'm totally, I'm, I'm totally down with giving some free publicity. Please let me in. Look how cool my hat is. Fine. I'll tell her about you. Go to the waiting room. Thank you, sir. Yes. Come in, come in. I'll be back to you in a minute. I apologize for the lack of chairs. We're relocating. Wait a second. You're no journalists. Uh, I could see there's no fooling you. No point beating around the bush here. She's already got us sussed. A girl in my position cannot allow herself to be easily fooled. What gave it away? Maybe you could have fooled me, but 
The fat one is too unrefined and unprofessional. You leave Pua alone. He's 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 a nice kid. He just needs a little bit of direction. That's all. The boss is fine the way he is. Ha ha ha. Uh, just just go sit in the corner. Then please just just go over there and just listen. Okay. See how it's done. I'm positive she's talking about you. Me? Oh, I'm all skin and bones. Who are you, really? I'm Private Detective Ma, Miss Halik, and this is my temporary partner. Vrn. 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 This guy. I'd like to ask a few questions, if that's okay with you. Well, I am a busy woman, but since you're already here... Ah. Is it true you offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mitsk's ID card? Yes, it's true. I think it would enrich my museum's collection. That card is part of a set, you know. But why do you ask? The card has been stolen. Oh, I see. That makes me a suspect, am I correct? But let me make another assumption. I believe Mr. Mitsk didn't tell you he was inclined to accept my offer, did he? Of course he didn't. Oh, so he actually was going to accept it. Oh, this just gets more interesting by the second then. Interesting, but he had his own restaurant. He seemed to be doing all okay for himself. He seemed to be doing all right with money too, but maybe he just wanted, maybe he's a philanthropist himself and he's like, have my ID card, put it in your museum. It would look pretty nice in there. I no longer need it. Hmm, but that definitely Schnag is the guy who did it. I mean, I'll figure that out as soon as I talk to him. I could still be wrong, but I mean, that seems to be the... Uh, who else was present when you gave your offer to Mr. Mitsk? I personally went to his restaurant to speak with him. If I remember correctly, his chef was there at the time too. Okay, yep, both Mitsk and Haley confirmed that Schneider was present at their meeting. Well, 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 I think that's everything. Thank you, Miss Sleek. And come back any time if you need anything else, i.e. to completely eliminate me from your inquiries. I'm an important woman, you know. Can't be me locked up when I've got all these morons to keep happy with this new stupid museum. I, I am sorry I lost my gracious airs for a second. Is it true that you were inclined to accept Halik's offer? I presume you talked to Halik. Yes, I admit it. I omitted this information because I didn't want you to come up with funny ideas. The only reason I'm looking for your ID card is to return it to you, Mr. Mitsk. I'm an honest zombie. To other zombies. I'd sneak up on a human like that, though. I agree on that one, too. Thank you both. So now what do we do then? I forgot about the combinations, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot. So... Hmm, Schneider denies it, but both Mitsk and Halik confirm he was present at their meeting when Halik offered to buy Mr. Mitsk's ID card. No, he was, he was present. I think that's a definite right there. Um, working. So Alik offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mitsuka ID card, and Mitsuka was actually more than willing to accept. That means... Alik had no motive to steal it. My opinion. Mm-hmm. One's about Schneider. Schneider respects Mitsk deeply and he loves his job at the restaurant. What could I assume from this? 
He's very attached to his job at the restaurant. Mm, I think he is, and I think he stole the ID card so that Mitsk wouldn't would have enough money to not need to run it anymore if the ID card was bought. Mm, oh, he didn't want the restaurant to close down. That's what I thought. Oh, hello. There's a weird mark on the wall. Right below the window. Shaped like the sole of a shoe. Thief stepped here to gain momentum and reached the window. Oh, poop. There we go. Damn it. All that time it was just hidden behind the damn fridge door. Wait a second. So now we have this. Oh, hello. The missing brains were too many to be stolen by one man, it's more probable somebody ate them all. That window over there is way too high for your average zombie. Oh. Damn it, I should have looked around more when I was first in here. The thief must be very agile. The thief was very agile and well equipped. I think it's safe to assume we're dealing with a pro. You might be right. So what? That's not really good. Uh, that much to go on, boss. Maybe not for us. I know just the guy. Oh, cool. I have somewhere new I can go. Let's shifty. I've pretty much solved it. I think I have, but I guess I just need to finish putting some pieces together here. And I do want to get it done in this part. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to overstay my welcome in this game. It's a great game, don't get me wrong, but I just don't want to. I feel like I can just get it done, you know? The Drinking Dead. Sounds like my kind of place. Oh gosh. Talking Dead. <laughs> oh god, he's using it. <laughs> the Drinking Dead. The worst bar in the whole city. I simply love it. Let's go talk to this guy who was using somebody's hand to. <laughs> hey there, ma. Drin! Let me introduce you to my friend here, the owner of the bar, the Drinking Dead. Hey, I like to call him the Talking Dead, as he often works as my secret informer. <laughs> you get it? You get it? It's funny. It's a joke. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get? Never, never, never mind. It's fine. I won't be a secret informer for long if you keep calling me that. <clears throat> I need your help to identify a certain thief. You'll have to be more specific than that, man. Describe his modus operandi. Do you know if he had some kind of weapon with him? Hmm. Yes, he did hit Given with a taser. I remember that bit now. Okay. How did he escape? Did he leave any trace? He climbed a very tall wall. Okay. That narrows it down a bit more. Anything else that you noticed? Any particular thing? Wait, he's agile. Surely. Okay. Let me think. Nope. Sorry. Don't know anyone like that. Shit. Oh, fuck, it was a manhole. Yes, there is someone that fits this description. There's this scumbag who's known as Sewers. Ugh, I think that's the guy you're looking for. I've heard he works for hire. I even have his phone number. Thanks, Torky. This is more than I could hope for. Glad I could be of help, man. Sewer Orc. Oh, his name's Sewer Orc. Okay, I was totally misread that line. Okay, so now I need to go back to my office. I need to phone this guy. Very well, let's try the number that Torky gave us. Sewer Orc. Who's this? Oh, he really answered. I'm a secret admirer. 
I have a little job for you. Zero risk, high reward. You do, huh? Let's say I'm interested. Then meet me at the Drinking Dead in half an hour. The trap is set. Are we gonna arrest him? Not yet. We aren't even sure he's the culprit. We, we need solid proof. Back to the Drinking Dead we go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Boss, that's him. I recognize him. That guy's the thief. Hey, who the brains are you? You smell like a cop. This is no place for you. Bah, I'm out of here. Damn it. Was I meant to pull the gun on him? Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm a secret admirer. I'd like to meet you. What? Are you having a brain withdrawal? Get lost. That son of a brain. You're up on me. What were you expecting exactly? I don't know. I just thought I'd try something different. Oh, you, f you bloody idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Come on, Grin, quickly. Let's follow him without being seen. Sure thing, boss. Of course, you just walk the same side of the screen and go, oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, man, that's totally me just being an idiot. Perfect. We followed him to his house. His house? You mean he lives here? Doesn't he have a grave? This is called the Pooh Neighborhood for a reason. The zombies who reside here can't even afford to own a grave. It is a pretty expensive thing, you know. Having a plot to your own. Wow. So where do they rest in their beds? What the horror? I know. Let's have a look around. Trash can. Oh. Uh. Did they taste you, Renok? Not to a trash can, they didn't. You're funny. I like you, and by that, I mean I despise you. Uh, so, uh, you live here? Yeah, so what? It's comfy, even though it's uncomfortable. So we could say your sewer's orc's neighbour. Yeah, you could say that. I like that guy, and that means I hate him. I see. Could I ask you a few questions about him and try not to get any double negatives from you? Or not double negatives, but like contradictory statements? Hey, I'm no rat. No, oh, probably I am. But my lips are sealed. Yes, okay. Let's have a look here. My lips are sealed. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing we can't just stroll in there. Or maybe we can. And who the brain are you? You smell like a cop. Get lost. Hmm. I think I'll have to try another approach. Is there an alleyway? Hmm. Oh, money, of course. Wherever there's rats, there's, 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 there's a distinct loss of money going on. What do you say? Would you like to have this neuro? Gimme, gimme! Well now, are your lips still sealed? No, no, not that much. Now I get it. Yesterday, half an hour before midnight, 11.30, Someone robbed a restaurant. What do you know about that? I know that all came home exactly at midnight, just in time for the curfew. Hmm. What can you tell me about Sewer's Orc? He's a fiend! A real scumbag! A criminal! I mean, you like him. That means I put a knife through his head. I like this guy. He's my favourite character. Yeah, there we go. So, he's the thief, because Brynn also confirmed it for me, and he was home just after the robbery. Super Zork is hiding Mr. Bitsk's ID card inside his house. My deductions are correct, and I think they are, and they usually are, because my hat means I'm a genius. 
Super Zork is still hiding Mr. Mitsk's ID card inside his house. But the only way to confirm that is if I can enter his house without being seen. Well, that's going to be quite a task, isn't it? How the heck am I going to do that? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Hey, Grin! Griff, Grin! Could you keep the thief occupied for a while? Not occupied? Wow. Imagine, or come up with something. Okay, I guess I could try. Come on, Grin, you can do it. Probably, maybe. Well, who the prey to you? Uh, uh, hello, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. You don't have any leather jacket with you? Uh, y yes I have. It's just that uh, they're invisible. Invisible leather jackets? Yep, they're all the rage these days. But invisible? How? Will I be invisible when I wear it too? Or Anyway, I'll let them get on. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Now let's have a look around. Mr. Mitsk's ID card should be somewhere in this room. Looks comfy, but I have no time to rest. It's a gong of some sort. I wonder where he stole that. What a nice statue. Is that how angels look? Just a simple vase. Uh, I don't want to go out the door. Carpet? Just a carpet. But wait a second. Under the carpet? Uh, why? Isn't that a hidden hatch? The hatch has a lock and I don't have the keys. What about... What about... Uh, damn it. Is there no other way I can get in that? Can I shoot the lock off? Oh, can I? <gasps> it could be because I'm itching to use my gun, but I see no other choice. What the brain? Uh oh. The man on the picture looks a lot like Mr. Mitsk. Guess I found his car alright. There are also two packs of frozen brains inside the hatch. What the heaven are you doing inside my house? Yikes. Well, watch out, boss. You've messed with the wrong zombie. I'll let you know that I always hit my mark at the 60th try. No way. Hey, you're bluffing. You see, first I'll render you unconscious, then I'll rip your legs off. Okay. I don't think this armchair will see me for long. Um. Quinn, can you close the window? Sure thing, boss. Oh, what did that do for me? Um. The light is on. I guess this room can get pretty dark, even during the day. Uh, what do I need to do here? Oh wait, I know. <laughs> ah, it'll take more than a few bullets to make me unconscious. No. Oh, wait a second. Hey, stop that! I like that gong. Do I shoot it now? Aha! Now, Grin, help me out. I'm coming, boss. How can you be so strong? I eat a lot. That's a good answer. Good job, Vin. Hold him down while I call the police. I humbly thank you for retrieving my card, Detective Ma. So, what happened to the thief? He's in jail. Police found much more stolen goods in his house than just your ID card, Mr. Mitsk. Turns out he was a wanted criminal. No oh, shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but why would he steal my card in the first place? And why did he steal my brains, too? I'll check my notes until I come up with a theory on that, and I'll let you know then. If I have enough clues, visit previous areas, find the clues, combine them in your notes, and form your deductions to solve the case. Right, let's just get these things wrapped up, shall we? 
Wanted to have any real use for Mr. Mitz's ID card, so what was his real motive? Why did he rob the restaurant? He was hired. Wait a second. I need to interpret this too. I found a pack of frozen brains at Ork's home. It was very similar to the ones that were stolen from Mitz's restaurant. I think that's proof that Ork did it. And this means that my investigation is still missing a piece. So it was Ork stole the ID card, but who ate the brains? Was it him or somebody else? Wait a minute. Oh, there's this screen that's been here all along that I've never even freaking noticed before. The manhole. Oh, for God's sake. Do you want to join the exclusive Eat Club? Then follow these simple rules. Eat Club? Ooh, sounds interesting. Rule number one, never speak about Eat Club. Rule two, three and four, rules two, three and four don't matter because you've already violated rule number one. You're forever banned from entering the Eat Club. You and whoever wrote this poster. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> I like it. Undead York, the best place for your holy days. I've been there a few centuries ago, when it wasn't all that undead yet. Ah, those were funny times. <laughs> York itself is nice. Can't speak for New York, or Undead York in this case. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here, but... Ooh, isn't... Isn't that a brain? What the heaven? That brain's rotten! It's been there for days! Oh, uh, yeah. I know that. Is this my final piece of evidence? Verna's of ravenous appetite. There we go. Verna's of a ravenous appetite. When he chased the thief away, he had the perfect chance to eat all those brains and blame the robber. Verna couldn't resist the temptation to eat all the brains. There we go. Well then, looks like I've found a solution. Time to end this case. Let's talk with Mr. Mitsk. There we go, finally did it. I want to thank you once again for retrieving my important ID card, Detective. But why did the thief steal it? What use could he possibly have for it? Have you come up with an answer? Yes, Mr. Mitsk. I think I have. And it involves your poor chef who really just wanted to keep his job and there's this big greedy shithead standing next to me. It is evident the thief had no use for your ID card. He was hired to steal it. Oh, but by Jove! But by whom? By your chef, Snagger. What? And how did, how did you? I mean, why? Why would I do that? You respect Mr. Mitsk, but you like your job here even more. When you heard that Mitsk was going to sell his card for a small fortune, you feel you would close the restaurant and retire, so you decided to dispose of the card. I... I... Is what he says true, Schneider? You want to break the heart of an old man? Not that it matters much, because I've already died once, so it's fine, it's not like he can kill me again. Not with emotions, at least. I, I, I would have returned it eventually, and I specifically told him not to touch the brains. And so you confess. I'm so disappointed in you, Snagger. I'll deal with you later, you young whippersnapper. But I'd like to know, Detective, how could he steal all those packs of frozen brain? The thief escaped from the window in the kitchen, so he couldn't possibly have stolen all those brains. There were too many to carry. The only explanation is that he was so hungry he ate them right then Right there. He ate them frozen? What a frightening appetite. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to drop the in it. I feel bad for him now. Uh, it's not unusual for all the zombies to be that hungry. Uh, of course, of course. I see. Now that that's out of the way, thank you again, detective. You certainly earned your fee. Wait, wait, wait. 
What? Why are you still following me? I need to get this off my chest. I'm the one who ate the frozen brains. Of course, I already knew that, you big dum-dum. You, you did? Then why didn't you tell Mitsk? You're a good zombie, Given. I didn't want you to lose your job. Or worse. Start following me around everywhere and decide you want to become a private detective when you've got a perfectly good job here. Uh, I, I'm touched. But even so, the thing is, I've come to realise that a zombie who loves brains as much as I do isn't really suited to work in a restaurant. Well, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> so I thought we could make a pretty good team. I could work for you instead, uh, as your partner. Oh, again, it's the whole, I don't want to kick the puppy. Okay, fine. See you at my office tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, sharp. If you're late, you're fired. If you're early, you're fired. If you ask too many questions, you're fired. If you eat all of my food, you're fired. Thank you, boss. Thank you. I, I promise you won't regret it. C can we make it half past nine instead? Oh, I got one wrong. Oh, yeah, sorry, that was the one I got wrong. I got six out of seven. Do, 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 do. Awesome. But to be honest, getting the first one wrong isn't that bad because I was just getting into the floor, but you know. I got everything else right, though. That's awesome. We finished it, got to the end of it, and it was great fun. Great fun. And apparently, there's, the whole idea is there's going to be a bigger, more, a more full game. That's just kind of the start of it. There's meant to be, I think the developer was saying, three other cases as well that's meant to be on top of this. It's got a heck of a ground into it that the puzzles are really good. I can't believe I got all the way to the end of the game without realising you could go down the back alley behind the freaking restaurant. I can't believe I got that far without getting to that bit. But, you know, I'm I'm special. I, I figure things out my own way. But this was, uh, this was Zombie Society. Dead detective. And it was dead good. Dead fun. Dead frustrating in parts, but totally worth the struggle. So I will uh, just jostle a little link in the description below so you guys and girls can go and play this for yourselves. Oh, you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I'll see you all next time round. Brains.